सो हे गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल सर्विस रिटर्न दैट विल मेक योर गेम टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल so you have to ready like this your right leg should be behind and your left leg should be in the front and your racket arm should be raised as same as your height of your shoulder your left arm should be raised to have a proper balance and a alert position this is a neutral or a defensive return this return is quite a bit defensive and a safe play in the initial stage of your game watch lizzy ja carefully you are missing something Take a look at the position of Lizija. He is not standing in the center, but why? Let me explain this. Whenever you play the shot at the back court, there are 90% chances that your opponent will play the straight shot and we are trying to anticipate the shot to have a first advantage in the rally. Let me explain you in more simple terms. If you are playing the shot to the left side, you have to be ready on the left side first. There are very high chances that your opponent will play a straight shot. Let's talk about some common mistakes that most of you do. You guys are just waiting for the shuttle to come at your position and then you play at a, a low position. As a result, your opponent will know where you're going to play the next shot and this will totally mess up your rally. The right way is you should take the shuttle early as possible and don't wait for the shuttle to come to you. Here you can see Ginting is taking shuttle as early as possible and waiting for the left side as his anticipating is received. Here you can see I am just covering the left side of the court. I am not in the center. Right now I am in the center. Just try to cover the left side of your court so it can be easy for you to have a defensive work like this or you can do like this. This is quite attacking or an aggressive return of serve where you make a push at the body of your opponent and here you are creating much pressure at the beginning of the rally and this will give you an upper hand in the rally. In this we can add more variation like just we are pretending to push the shuttle but we are just stopping the shuttle and giving a little deception. Here you can see Lizzy Jai is creating pressure on the Antonson in the beginning of the rally to have an upper edge. You can add three more variation in this like I am doing this Peter Gate deception. Watch some of the different angles where you can see it properly. From the backhand side of your racket, some player try to create much pressure by pushing it to the corners. But I don't think so it's really effective in the advanced level, but in the beginning, yeah, it's good. Here in this deception what you have to do is just just show that you are giving a push at the body but at the end moment just change the angle of your frame to the left side in this variation you have to just push the shuttle at the forehand corner of your opponent make sure you have to be really quick while attempting this otherwise it totally mess up In this return of serve you are just showing that you are giving a dribble or a normal keep but at the end moment just just flick it to the back court Here is an example where Antonson is doing the same And from the left court the technique is almost the same just changing the side So here is an example for you guys When it comes to the net play while you are receiving it totally depends upon your accuracy and your practice. Dribbling in the center is a much good way to open up the rally. This will not give any chance for your opponent to play attacking shot. Wow. From the net you can also play a neutral or a defensive shot, but make sure you have to be really quick like Antonson to create such pressure. Needing the shot was early You can play such similar shot to the left corner to create some pressure or just open up the rally. Oh my goodness. Let's see some deception that you can apply in your game. Yeah. 
if you want to learn this deception then i have made a separate video on this you can watch by clicking here and make sure that you are not using these deceptions again and again otherwise your opponent will be used to it and your deception will not work all the time